Hello, my people. I know it's been a little while, but here goes another sex kitten video for you. And you see me moving a little bit fast. So I'm showing you here what I'm priming my eye with, which if you've been watching my channel is the Wet n Wild um, eye primer. And I really highly recommend that. Anyways, as I was saying before, it has been a little while since I've done this, about three weeks. Sorry, I've been a little busy. Um, but I wanted to get this one in um, because I was going out when I did this makeup. And um, as you can see under my eyes, it was a very, very bad day for under eyes for me. I have been using that Vaseline um, and it does help, uh, but I do have bad days. And that is due to illness. It's not an aging issue for me. So I don't want 40-year-old women. I'm showing you here what I, what I prepared my face with. Um, that's going to be the, the BB cream by Garnier and the vitamin E a lotion well it's a cream and I'm showing you the brushes the uh, fluffy brushes that I am going to be putting my makeup on with and that's an elf brush and the one in my hand is an LA colors fluffy brush and that's gonna be what I'm gonna use to put in my transition color which I am using here in LA colors um, bronzer to do that with because it's a very nice matte like caramel color but as I was saying before I don't want a bunch of 40 year old women um, or women in my age bracket to to see those things under my eyes and say oh when I get into my 40s I'm gonna have those things no um, that is due to an illness that I have um, fibromyalgia and it causes a lot of eye swelling and uh, water retention for me um, in the eye area so this was a bad, bad day for under eyes for me. Um, but I do conceal it. So now I am showing you how the shape that I'm wanting to go for to create this kitten eye. Um, and the brush that I'm using to do that with is the LA Colors uh, fluffy brush. And you want a nice fluffy brush so that you can uh, spread this product and starting from the end of your eye and then on in and a circular and windshield wiper motion and get that blended in there really really nicely and you can see that I've created a shape by doing that and it takes a few minutes the blending process for me is you know because I don't have a natural socket line I work a little harder to get mine in there to look as natural as possible so right now yes you can see that there is a line up there but as I go blending and you'll want to have a a clean blending brush on hand. Um, here is the BH Cosmetics uh, eyeshadow palette, matte. They're mostly matte. There are some shimmers, but they're mostly matte. I am going in with the color I just showed you. I believe it was sort of like a purplish color. And I'm using, this is the Echo Tools uh, brush kit that I have, and that is a flatter uh, blending brush. It's uh, got more like a, it's a slimmer so I can get that color right into the area where I have placed. So I'm working that right into the area where I have placed my transition color. So that's right on the lower socket area and the transition color is laying on the top socket area and blends on into the actual socket area. So it's kind of confusing trying to explain it best as I can, but as you can see, um, that is what I'm doing here. I'm taking another color. This is sort of like on a reddish pinkish side and I'm blending that again right into the purplish um, that I just placed down there and I'm blending that in there and this is going to continue to create um, it's going to it's like color layering is what it is. I'm sandwiching the colors so that they last longer and also give me a nice blended color look so you don't see where one color starts and where the other colors end so they're blended right on into each other and that creates a very beautiful gradient of course as I was saying keep a very clean like I'm doing here I'm using a clean one and then one that I'm using to apply the color so to have a clean um, with nothing on it no product on it brush handy um, to blend right after you place your colors um, makes this a lot easier and to go a lot smoother in more ways than one if you have that clean brush. 
and so I just showed you guys another color I'm blending out. I blended about three or four colors in this area and I'm working at the end of my eye and I'm creating a contour using all of these colors. This is a pencil brush by e.l.f. I'm going here and in this area here with a black and I'm blending that right under the pinks and, and the purples to create a contour and a cut crease. As I said, I have hooded eyes, so I do this a lot, and that will create a very natural looking shape at the end of the eye. This is again a kittenish eye. I'm taking this on straight out instead of slanted up, so you can do it either way. And um, creating that definition at the end of the eye is um, what I like to do personally as a person with hooded eyes and mature hooded eyes and then taking my light colors and I'm placing down a base that is by NYC that um, crayon and this helps the colors that I'm going to place there to pop they're going to look exactly like they do in the compact um, when you when you place them right on top of that base and so uh, that's a little elf um, compact that I'm using and it's got uh, a gold a silverish and a very matte brownish. And I'm taking that towards the end of the eye, the matte brown, and <clears throat> excuse me, and blending that onto the black to soften it down. So I don't just have this black line sitting there. And then I'm going to take the matte brown and the gold under the eye with the same pencil brush. And um, that's just to create some smokiness and also some more definition. I have no lines around my eyes, so I love to do this. And on top of that, I will be using black eyeliner to get rid of the pinky tones and to create more definition and to get the nice wing that goes with this kittenish eye. And so I'm taking the gold that's in this little compact and I'm placing it on top of the white crayon that I've Put down and so that's going to make this gold really pop. There's also the silverish color that I also place on top of that but towards the inner part of the eye and I know this is moving in twice the speed but you should be able to see and then you, you get a little brush like I'm doing here a clean one and you just blend that out um, very quickly. It's not a big job because using my finger I was able to get it blended quite a bit. And so now I'm taking a clean brush and I'm blending everything together and softening all of the edges out so that I have, again, no harsh lines. I also take the silverish from that same little compact and I take that onto my brow bone so that I can highlight that I'm doing it here. I place the crayon down first and then... I'm going to dip my finger into the silverish whitish color that I used on the inner part of my mobile lid and I'm going to place it right on top of the crown so that sets it and it also highlights the brow bone. Um, eyebrows and lashes were done off camera. Uh, that's going to complete this look and the lashes that I used are from LA Colors and they are a direct dupe for the Demi Wispies by Ardell which I use all the time. And here is a uh, eyeliner by, it's called Exaggerate by Rimmel. And I love this one because it's waterproof. It goes nowhere. So I um, love this pencil. And I'm taking that onto the waterline and also smudging it into my lower lashes. Right into the lashes. And then that's the Wet n Wild, um, the Wet n Wild um, Cream Gel Eyeliner. And I'll be using this, this, uh, angled eyeliner brush to create the shape that I'm looking for which is going to be uh, sort of like a wing and it's going to go up at the end of the eye and that's going to lift my eyes at the end and give it that nice kittenish look even though I have placed my eyeshadow at more of a straight angle the eyeliner will still give me a nice little lift at the end of the eye giving you that kittenish look at, uh, at the end of your eyes and lifting them and it's a good trick to know even if you're not creating a cat eye so that if you have hooded eyes or because of the aging process, nice way to put it, um, you are losing or uh, some of the uh, elasticity around your eyes. It's a nice little trick. These here are art brushes that I use. I've already introduced 
to you guys, and you can see in previous videos, I have one very extensive video talking about them. They're very, very good for using uh, gel eyeliners. Um, very precise, and you can get into, you know, a lot of little nick and crannies that are really hard to get into. So I like to use uh, all of these brushes together for the eyes. Now this is the Dreamcatcher palette, and I'm taking the black, the matte black that's in there, and that's by NYX, and I am setting my eyeliner. It's a very another good trick to know, um, so that your eyeliner will stay. And here is the um, that is a mascara by L'Oreal, and I believe that it is called. My goodness, I was just holding it too. Um, Anyway, it's a long silver tube. You can't miss it. And it's really good for lengthening the lashes. And it's by L'Oreal. That much I can tell you right off the bat. But I'll put it down in the description box for you. Because it's not coming to me off the top of my head. And then that is the uh, lash, the lash uh, tweezers I use. And I've already got them on here. So I have placed my lashes. And... Um, I have done my brows very light and just following the natural shape here I'm just touching my lashes to make sure that they have um, they have uh, dried and um, for makeup for foundation I am using the um, the, the liquid foundation by uh, bare minerals and that's just their uh, bare natural shade and I'm using an e.l.f. foundation brush to apply that and I'm just using one coat I just wanted to even out my skin tone and I've got a little pimple that I do cover right in that area there and I'm taking that all around the circumference of my face as well as my hairline but because it matches my skin tone I didn't have to take it down into my neck or anything and I am also going to be setting this with the bare minerals the actual mineral foundation the powdered one and mine is in shade um, I believe bare natural or medium yeah medium a bare natural is the shade for the liquid foundation and I covered that up using um, my little pimple. I covered that up doing spot concealing with the little paintbrush, a different one. And then I'm setting here with the bare minerals. And what I used was the hard candy uh, glamouflage to cover that little pimple. And here goes the LA Colors bronzer. Again, I'm using it as a contour, but it is actually a bronzer. It's a lot darker. Well, it's about two shades, I would say, darker than my skin tone, so it makes for a very good contour shade, um, as well as a good um, shade for the my socket area. Perfect shade for me, and it's matte. And this is a bronzer by NYC. I think it's called Sun and Bronze, and I'm bronzing with that using a flat kabuki brush by Echo Tools. And yeah, that goes around all the circumference of the face as well, jawline, cheek area, and the sides of the forehead by the hairline. And a nice little pink blush by LA Colors, and I'm using an Echo Tools uh, blush brush, and it's an angled blush brush. I love this brush, it makes it so easy to blend that right into your cheekbones. And after this, I do believe I'm going to do the lips. There you go. And there's a lip liner. That's a Wet n Wild. That's the color that I, um, I've been telling you guys, for any of you guys who have been watching any of my previous videos, is very, very close to the Kylie Jenner lipstick that everybody's crazy about. It's between a, ma a mauve and a reddish type of color. And I have two of those they're very matte and the lip liner is by Rimmel I believe it's called Plum Rose um, also very matte well all lip liners are and I put the lipstick on first and then just shaped my lips their natural shape and then this is a pink 
uh, lip gloss. I don't know where it's from. And then using the e.l.f. Um, this is a nice little shimmer right on the top of my cheekbones. And guys, that is it. Thank you guys so much for watching. And until next time, bye-bye.